Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm here to lead you through Metabolic Solutions C13 Sucrose Breath Test. It is highly recommended that you choose a morning within 10 days of receiving the Sucrose Breath Test Kit. Before you begin, let me tell you about the preparatory period to abide by prior to taking the test. Preparing for your C13 Sucrose Breath Test properly will allow for accurate test results. Here are the proper steps we suggest you follow carefully. Discontinue the use of antibiotics for one week prior to taking the test. Also, do not use antihistamines and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as aspirin or ibuprofen, for 12 hours before the test. Do not sleep or exercise for at least a half hour before or at any time during the test. Lastly, do not chew gum or smoke on the morning of and during the test. Do not ingest anything other than water before and during the test. You may drink as much water as you like before and during the test. However, be sure to sip the water instead of taking large gulps. You may brush your teeth as you would normally. Please consult your physician if you are on a specialty diet or taking any medications that you feel could conflict with your test. There is an eight hour preparatory period leading up to your C13 sucrose breath test. This is an eight hour fast where you will ingest nothing but water. Please note that you can include the time you are sleeping as part of the complete fast. Included in your C13 sucrose breath test is a straw, instructions which clearly details test preparation and instructions, a sucrose packet, four breath test tubes labeled with different time intervals, a white seal to close the kit after test completion, a prepaid USPS shipping label adhered to the back of the test kit, and a test form. Please be sure to place a completed test form back into the test kit before sending. After you have completed the eight hour fast, you are ready to begin performing your test. Retrieve the test form from the kit. Complete all required fields. If your healthcare provider did not complete part one of the form, please call your provider's office for that information. Pour eight ounces of tap or bottled water into the cup. Add the sucrose to the water. Mix thoroughly and set aside. Do not drink yet. Take the first test tube labeled baseline out of the kit and remove the cap. Next, unwrap the collection straw and insert it halfway into the test tube. Blow through the straw into the test tube for three to five seconds until you see condensation build up on the walls of the tube. Be sure to breathe normally prior to blowing through the straw. Do not inhale deeply. Quickly cap the test tube, securing it tightly. If you cannot replace the cap on the tube within five seconds, start the breath collection again and cap the tube. Place the tube back into its slot. Drink all of the sucrose solution that you prepared earlier immediately upon completion of the baseline tube. Please stop the video now and then restart in 30 minutes. Now that 30 minutes has passed, you are ready for the second tube. Remove the test tube labeled 30 min from the box. Breathe into the second test for five seconds, same as before. Three, four, five, good job. Please stop the video now and then restart again in 30 minutes. Now that another 30 minutes has passed, you are now ready to repeat the process with the third test tube labeled 60 min. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Please stop the video now and then restart again in 30 minutes. Now that the final 30 minutes has passed, repeat the process with the last test tube labeled 90 min. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Once you have finished breathing into the final tube, you may resume a normal diet and activities. Place all tubes back into their slots along with a completed test form. You do not need to fill out the test tube labels. It is important to note that all fields must be completed to receive test results. Your form must be placed back inside the box before sealing closed for shipping. Use the white seal in the box to seal the completed test kit. Once your test is securely sealed, your kit is ready to be shipped. As mentioned earlier, there is a USPS return label adhered to the back of the test kit. Place a completed kit in your mailbox or any other USPS drop box. 
Once your kit is received in the lab, your results will be reported to the ordering healthcare provider within 48 hours, provided that your paperwork is complete. If you have any questions, our customer service department is readily available and always happy to help. Please contact us during normal business hours, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at 1-888-871-1589. We hope the instructional video has been helpful, but please make sure to also read the instructions included in your test.